All right, in this problem, we are going to graph the functions that are given. This time, we're going to take that region and we're going to rotate it around the y in y equals 4. Let's see what happens. y equals 2x is just a straight line with a slope of 2 that goes through the origin. And y equals x squared is the parabola that looks something like that. Setting these two equations equal to each other and then solving for x tells us that these two functions intersect each other at x equals 0 and at x equals 2. Taking that x equals 2 and plugging it into either function, tells us that the y value here is going to be 4. And that's good information because to complete our graph, we know that we're going to rotate this region about the axis y equals 4. And we're using either the washer or disk method. In this case, it's going to be the washer method. Because as you can see, if we slice this region up, rotate it around this axis, we will in fact get ourselves <laughs> a really ugly looking washer. The formula for the volume of rotation using the washer method, in this case is going to have a dx on it because the width of each one of these washers is dx. But finding the outer radius and the inner radius is gonna take us a little bit of work. So to try to clean this up a little bit, I'm just gonna delete this washer and say that no matter where we slice it, we know that the outer radius of this washer is going to be given by that length right there. Now we know that this entire length right here is 4 and we also know that the length of this little piece right here is given by the equation y equals x squared. So if we want the length of this gold outer radius here we can take the length of the pink line which is 4 and subtract the length of the blue line which is x squared. Now we've got a lot of colors going here so I'm going to actually make a little bit of space and draw that gold line right in there. And hopefully you can see that the pink line minus the blue line gives us that gold line. As for the inner radius, say right here, we can find that radius by taking this length here, which is 4, and subtracting off this radius, which is given by 2x. In other words, our little r can be found by subtracting 4 minus 2x. Okay, you might need to take a little bit of time with that to make all the colors make sense, so feel free to hit pause on your browser whenever you need. But plugging in that outer radius of 4 minus x squared and that inner radius of 4 minus 2x gives us this. And since we're integrating with respect to x, we need to look at the largest and smallest values of x in this region, which are 0 and 2. All right, this is my most colorful problem yet. I like it a lot. Now, to integrate, we're first going to need to FOIL. And then we can simplify by saying that those two terms are going to cancel, leaving us with a positive 16x. A minus 8x squared minus 4x squared is going to give us minus 12x squared plus x to the fourth. And now that we can integrate and evaluate from 0 to 2. We can save ourselves a little bit of time by recognizing that if we plug in 0, we're just going to get 0. And what do we get here? I'm getting those terms. 32 minus 36 is negative 4. And if we subtract 4 from 32 fifths, we should get 12 fifths pi as our final answer. That is our volume, so that would be in units cubed. And that was really fun. Our problems just keep getting better and better. Let me zoom out on that so you can see the whole thing. I hope that this video has helped. And if so, I'll see you in the next one.